Today we'll be looking at the RS3M, but there is a twist. Probably a lot of you guys are thinking, I'm going to unbox the 2021 version because it's 2021 and obviously I'm gonna get the 2021 version, right? Well, no, I'm actually getting the 2020 version. So you might be thinking, okay, why don't you just get the 2021 version since it's like the latest and everybody says 2021 version has the maglev new thing and it's a lot faster and it's like better? Well, the story is, we all know that the year 2020 has not been a really good year. Well, I don't want to explain why. Everybody knows why. And the only redeeming qualities for the year 2020 is basically the RS3M 2020 and probably some of the flagship cubes that has been released in the year 2020. And since the RS3M 2020 has been really hyped up as one of the best cubes that has been released in 2020, I decided to make it a little better. And a lot of people on YouTube, like the reviews, they all say the RS3M 2020 is really good, even out of the box, even is unlooped. They are pretty good. Well, here's what I got out of the box. Okay, I gotta be honest, it is pretty good. Okay, so there are a few problems that has to be settled. The first one is this cube is a little too loose. The second one, there is no loop in there and it's gonna have like dust over time if you just use it without lubing this cube. And the third one, why is the sticker so ugly? Alright, sorry. So these are the three problems I got out of the box. I'm just going to look at the accessories box and see uh, what does it offer. Big green. Alright, I am now officially getting my first ever low-use screwdriver. I'm not really interested in this thing, so I'm just gonna, you know... Alright, what are these three? They gave me Squid Game stickers. You know, the, the three guys in Squid Game? Like, I, I don't know what you call that. Uh, pretty interesting. I'm going to replace the stickers later of this. But to be honest, they look pretty cute. And of course we got the spring compression system, this thing where you just turn it and there's this thing. I think it's a replacement if you, for some reason, lost one of them and you can replace it with this. Alright, uh, we pretty much have everything here. I am going to tension it with the Moyu screwdriver and of course tension the compression system. So this one is for the screw, this one is for the spring compression system. I'm just gonna make myself clear here and, uh, so you guys won't get confused or all that. So I'm just gonna leave this here. This thing is a... Uh, you don't need to use this thing. And these three stickers, I'm going to leave it for later. So there are two more things I forgot to take. I need a cloth and a toothbrush. Oh, there it is. Alright, it seems like I didn't forget anything. So the cloth will be used to clean out the dust and the toothbrush is just to rub off the places where the cloth can't reach. Alright, so let's take the cube apart. Alright, so the first step is we'll be cleaning the pieces with this cloth right here. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is to wipe off the dust on the core. Just wipe the whole thing and don't be like, oh there's dust, I'm just gonna wipe here. Just wipe the whole thing. Don't be lazy. Just gonna take the cloth, just wipe the insides and the outsides. Alright, so after cleaning the core, it's pretty much done for the core. You're just gonna leave it here first. Now it's time for the pieces. Alright, while I'm cleaning up the pieces, I'm just gonna tell you guys a short story. You guys have probably noticed, why is my thumbnail, not the YouTube thumbnail, my finger thumbnail, is black. Well, I was testing out how my nails would look like if I painted black, but I can't find any nail polish so I decided to do the very logical way. I took markers to paint my nails, but I'm so stupid, I got the permanent marker and drew it on my nail. Right, that's it, that's what happened. Let's go back to the video. All right, the pieces and the core, we have finished cleaning. So now we're just gonna put them back together and then we're gonna tension the spring compression system. And also the screw, of course. So you guys can, you know, look at this thing and then Okay, there we go. So these two pieces are being left out because I'm going to loop these two. So I got my two trusty Diane loop. Again, 
Okay, I did not expect to catch this on camera, but I managed to break the cap. It looks like this, but then this part just came off. Diane, you need to work on your build quality. So my way of looping is I'm going to add a little in the internal parts right here, and then add a little bit on the corner. All right, let's move this in. All right, the cube has been slowed down a little, so now it feels like I have to put in a lot more force to turn the cube. Well, obviously, because this cube is like slowed down. So now I'm going to add the green cap loop to speed it back up. Okay, it didn't break this time. Okay, the cube feels pretty darn good, so I'm going to stop here and not add any more loops in there. Okay, so time to tension. I want to say something to Gan. So Gan, a $9 budget cube has better center caps than you. It's so easy to take it out compared to your easy opening gaps. All right, it's the first time using a Moyu spring compression system, so I hope I won't mess it up. Okay, I just realized one thing. I forgot which way to tension it. So I guess I'm going to watch back my old video where I was talking stuff like how to set up your Rubik's cube and all that. I'll be back in a second. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, I figured it out, guys. So if you want to tighten it, turn it to the right side. If you want to loosen it, turn it to the left side. So I'm going to tighten this cube. So I guess I'm turning to the right side. The washer is really loud. I'm not sure if you can hear it. The green side is a lot looser now. So I'm going to maybe tighten it a little bit and then loosen the blue side. Okay, they are pretty even now. All right, let's do the rest, and I'm going to be back when I'm done. All right, so it feels pretty good. It feels not that tight anymore. So I'm gonna test corner cutting real quick. So 45 degrees. All right, pretty easy. Wow, it's pretty smooth. Okay. Line to line? Oh, why? Oh my! Alright, if I go further... <laughs> Hello? Okay, that doesn't cut. Okay, this thing is impressive. Alright, now reverse corner cutting. It should go at least like this. That is surprisingly easy. But like this. Still can do it. Alright, it doesn't cut there, so it stops right here. Oh my, this thing is legend! Alright, the screws are done. Alright, time for the spring compression system. Alright, so the screwdriver is useless now. This thing is useful. Alright, so you get this thing, and there's like two, two things right here. And there's two gaps right here as well. So you align them, just like this, and then you turn it anti-clockwise, like this, to make the settings higher. So that is way louder than any other click. So that means you have reached the lowest setting again. So I am going to go for setting number five, I believe. So I have to hear five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So now I'm going to do the same thing to five other sides. All right, let's test this thing out. All right, let's test back corner cutting and see does it affect anything. Okay, still pretty good, regular corner cutting. <laughs> Holy, this thing is still incredible. Alright guys, we're done, this is it, we're going to change this ugly sticker, the 2021 Squid Game sticker. You know, year 2021 is a little bit better, so I'm going to add a little bit 2021 on this cube, so makes it extra better. Alright, there are three of them, so I guess I'm going for the circle one, because I feel like circle looks better for me, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's take this very ugly sticker off. I don't have the thing where you just 
take out the sticker, so I guess I'm going with the classic way, using my fingernails. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, good. There's no excess sticky stuff on it. Here we go, guys. I took this out. And let's crown the king. Okay, it's not in the middle. Alright, there we go. We got the Squid Game logo on. We officially made the year 2020 better. Yay! We're done, dude. This feels really amazing. I feel like the Dian Tangerine can be replaced now. <laughs> I'm still more comfortable on the Dian Tangerine, so... Well, I guess I have to get used with the RSTM 2021 now. So I will be doing some solves, and then I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel about this cube. All right, so solving with this cube gives me a pretty great experience. The cube feels really nice to turn, and I got pretty nice times, but some of the time I get really bad times, and mostly because the cube is a little too tight, and in the end, I loosen it from setting seven to setting five. After that, it felt a lot better as the cube's corner cutting got better and the speed got faster, resulting in lesser lockups. Overall, this cube is really good, and if it becomes my main, I will definitely let you guys know in the future. In the end, I didn't even use the toothbrush.